In this video, I will compare SendGrid versus MailChimp and tell you which of these email marketing tools may be best for you and your needs. So I'll go over what exactly they do, who they are for, and which one I prefer. So both of them are mainly email marketing tools, but for example, on MailChimp, you can see it has some additional features such as SMS marketing, the marketing automation, websites, social media marketing, content creation tools, and more. Now, SendGrid is actually mainly just email marketing. So you have API, email API, and email marketing campaigns. So it has features such as email automation, sign-up forms, email testing, email statistics, email templates, and email design. Now you can see you can send transactional and marketing emails at scale with the platform that offers a 99% deliverability rate. Now, in terms of pricing, which is pretty important, especially if you send a lot of emails, you can see for the regular marketing campaigns on SendGrid, they have a free plan where you can store up to 100 contacts and send up to 6,000 emails. Now here, just enter how many contacts you would like to store and how many emails you would like to send per month. Now, once you get in contact, you don't need to store them forever. For example, if you have an e-commerce business, it can be helpful so that at Black Friday, for example, you can send them an email saying we have a Black Friday offer. Now here, just enter your contacts and then the amount of emails you want to send. And then, for example, if this is what you have, so 5,000 contacts and you want to send 15,000 emails per month, then you need to get the basic 5K plan, which is $15 per month. Now, you won't have automation here. If you want to unlock automation and access to dedicated IPs, then you need to get the $60 per month plan. Now, this is pretty cheap in my opinion, but for example, if you need to send 100,000 emails per month and you have 50,000 contacts, then of course it will be a lot more expensive. But overall, I don't think SendGrid is very expensive. Now, when you compare it to MailChimp, you can see on MailChimp they have different pricing plans. So for email marketing, email and SMS, websites, and for transactional emails. But for example, the email marketing, there is a free plan for up to 500 contacts where you can send up to 6,000 emails per month. So they both have pretty good free plans. But for example, if you have 10,000 contacts, then you can see for the premium plan where you can send up to 150,000 emails, it's 334 euros. Now 10,000 is the minimum here. But you can see they also have a standard plan, essentials plan, and then the free plan with a limit of 500 contacts. But you can see the pricing here. So in the essentials plan, it will cost $13 per month for 500 contacts. Now on the standard plan, it's $20 per month for 500 contacts. And in the premium plan, it only goes from 10,000 and it's $350. Now you can see what is included in each of these plans. And I think overall that SendGrid is a cheaper option compared to MailChimp, especially if you want the email and SMS, because then you also need to pay for SMS credits. But if you do want to do SMS marketing, then you should probably go with MailChimp since SendGrid doesn't offer that in this product. Now, in terms of integrations on MailChimp, you can see right here it integrates with Shopify, Wix, Salesforce, Canva, WooCommerce, and 300 plus integrations. Now, I think SendGrid doesn't integrate with Shopify, maybe through Zapier, but SendGrid doesn't really show any integrations on their website. So you can only see it once you actually have your free trial. But overall, I would say if you want to do e-commerce email marketing, it doesn't really matter because then I think MailChimp is the better option. Now, I would say for more straightforward and simple email marketing, SendGrid is better because it's cheaper. But if you're looking for more advanced features and you want multiple channels that you can reach out on, such as email and SMS, then MailChimp is still the better option. Now, when you look at the reviews on Captera, you can see SendGrid has 734 reviews and 4.2 stars out of 5. Now, many people say that SendGrid does have very bad customer service. Now MailChimp on the other hand has over 17,000 reviews and it scores 4.5 stars out of 5, which is better. So if you're looking for the more reliable platform with better customer service and more advanced features, then in my opinion, you should go with MailChimp. However, on the other hand, if you're looking for a cheaper platform and you have a pretty small scale email marketing campaign, then I would probably go with SendGrid since you can save some money.
Now you can see it is also used by large brands such as Uber, Spotify, Airbnb, Yelp, Glassdoor, and Instacart. But overall, I think if you do have a large business or enterprise or a high volume e-commerce business, then I personally do think that MailChimp is better. So that concludes this comparison of SendGrid versus MailChimp. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.